I don't know why, but we foreigners always attract attention for selfies, so that's what we're doing today. <laughs> we look a little out of the ordinary, so selfie time, right? Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, my name is Alex. I'm an ex-medical student who sold all his belongings in 2012 to travel around the world. 50 countries and the adventure continues. What's up everybody? Welcome to Kathmandu, Nepal. Today we're gonna have a nice adventure because I have a Royal Enfield Himalayan motorcycle. I'm gonna take all around Kathmandu, check out the sights, and drive through this crazy traffic. So real quick, my buddies from Zostel over here actually invited me out to check out their hostel here in Kathmandu. My favorite hostel chain in all of India and Nepal so far is definitely Zostel. Super cool guys, I have meetups here all the time. Come check them out if you're ever in India or traveling through Nepal, really great place. All right, so why the Himalayan? Well, number one, I've never driven a Himalayan before. Number two, I just love the look of it. Number three, uh, there's a wonderful motorcycle rental company called Royal Brothers, which is actually helping me out by giving me motorcycle rentals in all of India and all in the hall. Definitely check them out. There's a link in the description below if you guys want to rent a motorcycle from Royal Brothers. They even gave me a discount code. So if you put my discount code, which is in the bottom, you actually get 10% off uh, your next motorcycle rental here in India or Nepal. So we're gonna get on the bike here. We're gonna take off to the city to check out uh, Kathmandu's largest stupa. All right, so your one suggestion if you ever drive a motorcycle in Nepal is definitely buy yourself a little face mask because it's really dusty as you're gonna see through the video. Definitely protect your health for one US dollar. So be smart. Welcome to the Swoyabunath Stupa. It's the largest stupa in all of Kathmandu. All right, so fun fact is that this place actually has a nickname, Monkey Temple. So if you're searching on Google or something, you might find it as Monkey Temple. I don't know why, but we foreigners always attract attention for selfies. So that's what we're doing today. <laughs> we look a little out of the ordinary, so selfie time, right? Yeah. One messed up looking monkey. He has scratches on his back. His ears kind of like half lobbed off. There's a lot of weird things here. I've only seen about three monkeys, uh, so it's not as prolific as you think. Camera's falling. It is so disgusting what the tripod's on right now, I don't even want to show you. Ugh. I don't know if it's monkey feces or something else, but it's pretty nasty. I'll show you in a second. So if you want to see what my tripod was on, it was actually on this very disgusting surface. As you see this, I'm not quite sure what that is. I would like to think it's a broken egg, but I know it's not. smart, put a statue, and everybody tries to throw money in there. Why? I don't know. Good luck, maybe? This slogan is made, peace prevail the earth. In this case, may money help the world go round as well. As I make my way back to the motorcycle, it's always uh, an, a daunting feeling, hoping that the bike is still there. There's a lot of people, and the bike I have is uh, one of the better ones. Yay, it's still there. So 
we're back at the hostel, we made it through traffic, we saw the stupa, and now we're during monsoon season right now in Kathmandu. Today is the month of July, and as you see, the rainstorms come in pretty quick, pretty fast. This hostel is really, really cool. Again, Zossel. Why? Because every Zossel I've ever been to has a very backpacker friendly atmosphere. A place where people can play music, sit up there on this little weird hammock thing. They picked a really awesome location, super close to town. Anyway, so I thought I would end the day today by flying a drone. I mean, uh, by having a Nepalese person fly a drone. Because here's the issue in Nepal, is that a foreigner is not actually allowed to fly a drone, only a Nepalese is. So, that's just the rules here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give my controller and my drone to a Nepalese and have them fly it around for a little bit. That's how I kind of get around those legalities. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. See you tomorrow.